Please ignore the fringe again. I may as well just cut it into a full fringe at this point. It's just not doing as it's told, huh? Also, it's just looking at dark clothing, feeling kind of mysterious today. Oh, disgusting. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm very excited because I will be starting and hopefully finishing my eye sweater. I'm just not sure how much I'll get done today. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Um, but yeah, that's what this video is going to be, and let's get straight into it, shall we? Now, I already started this sweater last night because I basically just wanted to see how long it would take me to make the majority of one of the panels, like with the eye. I wanted to see how easy it was to create, how fun it was to create, and oh my gosh, I had the most fun. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just needed to grab my planner because basically what I did yesterday was um, ask my sister if she could help me choose the colours for what I'd use. Um, because I knew I didn't have the colours that other people had used and I didn't really want those colours, I wanted something more autumnal. So I just did a quick little sketch. Oh, I did a quick little sketch of the jumper itself and then did a key of what I would be using. And yeah, even though the colours aren't 100% accurate to the yarn that I have, they thought it looked pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that I did was choose what yarn I wanted. And then I basically got to making it. Okay, so I basically followed Giselle's pattern. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Giselle anyway. Giselle, 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 Giselle. My accent doesn't do any justice to any names whatsoever, but I basically followed Giselle or Pixel, Pixel Presents. Oh my God, I can't get my words out. Pixel Presents video on YouTube and it is, it's so good because she doesn't like speed up anything. It's all pretty much real time. Obviously there's cuts here and there, but it's pretty much all real time like going round in the stitches so it's genuinely like I'm crocheting with someone and it's really really fun and she kept me company the entire time um it's all explained really well and yeah yeah I basically got to the point where you start squaring off the eye and I'll just insert some little videos here if I haven't been already of me doing it last night but yeah I'm going to show you where I've gotten to now and then Hopefully I will have it done by tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna, I plan on stopping up pretty much all night to try and get it done. If not done, then up to a point that I'm happy with. Um, but yeah, I shall show thee now. I shall show thee now. Also, just a little disclaimer. Um, I did mine with a six millimeter hook. She uses a 5.75. I've never seen a 5.75 hook. I've only seen 5.5s and then straight to a six. So that's cool. But I just sized it up and also my tension isn't as hard as hers is because I want it to be a little bit bigger um a little bit more of a size so I haven't done the tension as hard as she has and also I've used a bigger hook um but pretty much the yarn that I've used is all the same like type it's pretty much all double um double not double 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 knitted, double knitted yarn oh my gosh also I have said this in like I've said this many a times in previous videos I am not a perfectionist so if I have done something wrong, I will just try and correct it instead of frogging my entire project and starting again. So some of these stitches are incorrect, but I haven't undone them because I cannot be bothered and I'm not a perfectionist. But this is where we're at so far and I didn't imagine I would love it as much as I do. Like this mustard colour, I, I don't really like mustard as a colour itself. Um, personally just because I went through like an entire like you know when everyone was wearing mustards back in like 2015 2016 I wore mustard um, so it's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of triggering um, but it's it's really yeah I love this ready orange color also finally did my nails like the ones that have snapped I've just put fake ones on like that one and that one they look a bit chunky but I've got a full set on again. <laughs> I really love this burnt 
red orange and I think I like the mustard where it is but I'm not sure if I would have preferred it the mustard being this um, red and the red being the mustard just so there's more of it but yes I am enjoying it so much but I've also I don't weave in my ends as I go I know I should but I don't um I kind of like just <laughs> this is kind it's not weird because like some other people like doing it but I kind of like just sitting there sometimes and weaving in all my ends all in one go like making like a little because it, it's just calming to me I like sewing and I like weaving so yeah that's her so far I'm not sure how I'm gonna record me creating the rest of this but you are really annoying me sir oh I also need to say my hair oh so like the ginger's really really dull like it's really dull and I just don't have the money at the minute to get it redone um so I have some red hair dye that I used for when I went to a mouth culture to con for when I went to a mouth culture show and I wanted little bits of red because cherry red rage and I had some left over so I thought oh I'll just mix it in with my shampoo because then my hair's gonna be more like orangey red yeah but I forgot that I had like blonde bits from where I like did the underneath bits blonde and these bits blonde um ages ago so it's dyed it red and I don't know how to feel about it it's kind of it's kind of giving like five sauce um tumbler hair and I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm feeling about it but we'll, we'll deal with it like I said in the last video the day that I am happy with my hair is the day that there's something severely wrong with me so but yeah I think that's pretty much it for this bit I'm not sure how I'm gonna record me actually doing the jumper it's probably just gonna be my hands um, in different locations like I think I'm probably gonna sit downstairs for a bit and just record that um, I'll be doing it tonight so that'll be downstairs in the living room as well um, but other than that we'll, we'll get into it I'll keep you updated I'll do little check-ins um, the time is currently 10 to 12 so let's see how long this takes let's see but yeah that is it for now. I shall see you in a bit, my darlings. Bye bye. just finished the first panel and now I am on to the second um it's currently like three o'clock half past three something like that um I'm not sure if this is going to be big enough so I'm basically starting on the second one and then I'm going to slip stitch them together and try it on and if it's not big enough I'm just going to build upon both panels I'll update you when everything else is done okay good morning everyone please ignore how bad i look i have not long since woken up and i basically woke up and started crocheting straight away i am stressed i've only just finished the second panel and i want to cry um i was very optimistic that i was going to get it done yesterday because it was taking me a lot less time to get to the point where i were yesterday than with the first panel as i explained yesterday I well, I'm I'm not a perfectionist and in the video um, she's very good at being like it doesn't matter how many rows you have just as long as it looks like mine and it's the same throughout which I was like fair enough cool that doesn't stress me because I've not got the same amount of stitches <sighs> now <laughs> I am a big big dum-dum and I hadn't been um, recording or like writing down what was different different between mine and the one in the video so when it came to the second panel when it got to the parts that were different I had no idea where I went wrong or where I went different so I had to recount all of these stitches and write them down and record what I needed to do in the second panel so that it was the exact same 
that was just a lot of stress. I was very confident that I was gonna get it done yesterday and I'm quite disappointed that I didn't because when I was doing the second one, I was a lot faster. Like I was looking at when I was recording um, like me crocheting and I was a lot quicker in the second panel. This spot's really annoying me. Oh well. And then came the issue of me using a six millimeter hook instead of a 10 millimeter hook. Don't get me wrong, I'm really glad that I did because I do prefer a tighter knit on me personally. Um, so I'm glad that I used a smaller hook, but the issue is the fact that I needed to do a lot more rows than what um, they did in the video, which is fine because <laughs> I'm glad that I did still, it just means that it took a lot longer and I ended up doing, I'll show you what I did, but anyway, I'll show you what they look like now and then I'll talk you through what I did. But also this video is gonna be like a day or two late, which again, I'm really disappointed in, but it won't take as much edit editing as the Pinterest videos, hopefully. So that's a positive, I guess. <laughs> this is the first panel. And then obviously it's not all stretched out. That's why it looks a little bit wonky. I'm hoping anywhere. Um, and then this is the second panel. I really love her. And the issue was as well is I got a bit too um, ahead of myself and I didn't think about how many extra rows I needed and what colours to do them. So I just kind of, I was just kind of winging it with the colours. But I'm really glad I ended on the orange because I think it looks, I think it looks really pretty. A double row of brown there, um, just because I just wanted a thicker layer of brown. I think it looks really nice. Obviously with the, other brown layer being a treble, um, I think it just evens it out really nice. So that's where the tutorial ended on row 18 or 19. And then I did an extra row of the mustard, an extra row of black, and then I was like, it's just gonna be a load of double crocheted rows. So I wanted to switch it up a bit, so I did a row of treble crochet clusters um, in the like multicolored one, and then just to end, I did a row of double crochets. There's been a lot of obstacles and it was proving a lot more. It's not difficult, it's just trying to keep up with all the rows and remembering measurements and blah blah blah. I look terrible. I look awful but I'm gonna get on with that now and hopefully I'll have it either done by tonight or tomorrow morning. I was gonna do this in two parts but then I looked at the footage and I've not got that much footage so it would literally be like a 10 minute video and I don't want that. I'd rather it be one big video um, instead. And then I can do two Pinterest videos at the end of this week to make up for it. <laughs> the good thing is I'm, I don't feel burnt out. Like I'm, I don't feel like I'm starting to hate crochet. Um, I'm still having fun whilst doing it. Obviously it was just a bit frustrating. I must have started that second panel like 10 times in certain areas, but I'm still feeling good. I still feel like after I've done this, I'll be able to like, if someone will like create me another, I feel like I'd still enjoy it. So yeah, I shall update the soon. Um, wish me luck, <laughs> wish me luck, um, but yeah. Bye bye for now treacle sponges. Also, did I tell you that I sorted my nails out? Right, bye treacle sponge. Bye bye. Mwah. Twilight zone and I always feel like somebody's watching me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it is two days, three days since I started this eye jumper. Oh my god. And I can happily say that I have finally finished it. Um, I still have to weave in the ends, but I'm not too worried about that. I can get that done tonight. I can get that done tonight, but I have finally finished it and I'm so excited to show you. Um, I quickly steam blocked it, but um, it probably could do with being a little bit better. But oh my god guys, I am so relieved that I finally finished it. It looks super duper cool in my opinion. Um, it's not perfect, but hey ho. Uh, not everything can be perfect, so I'm not too worried about it. I was considering doing some ribbing on it, but honestly, 
I can't be bothered. <laughs> I might end up doing it in the future, but for now, it's gonna have to stay as it is. Um, the chocolate's still in that side. I got it out of this side though, which is cool. I guess without further ado, I'm gonna show it here. I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'll hold it up and then I'll put it on and I'll show you. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it, I guess. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, you should be able to hear me now, but she is everything and more to me. I love her so much that I'm just gonna the right way around. There we go. There she is. I am super proud of the sleeves. Um, like I said, I've not properly blocked it yet, so I do need to go over and steam her again. <sighs> but oh my god, yeah. I'll show you how she fits. Um, I haven't tried her on once I've steamed her yet, so this is just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Okay, are you ready? Are you steady? Oh, one sec, let me. Ta-da! Here she is. I love her. These are not the right pants. I'll probably wear her with like a skirt or something, but here she is. I steamed these end bits. I like crocheted an extra three rows last night. So they will be probably to here once I've done that because it does stretch out quite a bit. Oh my God, I love her so much. Like I love her. Like I said, she is not perfect, but no, neither is anything or anyone, so it's fine. Look at her. I love her, and the colours that I chose really complement me, I feel. Like the autumnal, autumnalness. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. But yeah, this is her, this is she. I'm super proud of her. Um, There was something, something went wrong somewhere and the pattern is kind of like bulky. Like, ugh. I don't know if you can see but it kind of like sticks out a little bit like goes in there but I don't think it matters I think I, th I think it's good enough without it with 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 it yeah but yes the eye sweater is finally done so I can tick that off of the list of things I wanted to get done this autumn Over. I ended up basically like all of these are double crochets and then I just got really not lazy because the treble crochets still look good, but I wanted to finish it. So I treble crocheted most rows after this point. Um, and then I did the cluster treble crochets on the orange bits there. <sighs> Would I recommend making this eye sweater? 100,000%. Just know that even though it is like, it is pretty simple. It's just time consuming because of all the colour switching. Obviously this has got a lot of colours in. I think it's got about six or seven in all together. Um, so just be wary that you will need time to sit and do this. You need to pay attention to what you're doing. There's quite a bit of calculating going on, um, different stitches. So I would say you could do it as a beginner because like I don't like to put a pin on things that you're able to do as a beginner because it's just learning a new stitch. Once you've learned that new stitch, brilliant. This has got trebles, it's got doubles, it's got half doubles, it's got um, extended double crochets. This is my first time using extended double crochets. And that was for the eye pattern. Um, I'm really out of breath. <laughs> but yes, it is finally done. I think altogether it must have taken me about 24 hours, something like that. And that was including like restarting things, um, changing the colours, blah, 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 blah. Like it wasn't like a straight 24 hours. Like, I had things going on in between. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with that. And I really want to make a little pink one for my little sister, um, like my baby sister, and then a little, maybe it's actually the same size, a green one for my um, oldest little sister. But yeah, the footage that I got was mainly me crocheting. Um, there wasn't much like update footage, so I do apologize, but it did just get to the point where I was taking so much time to do it i didn't realize how long it was going to take me so i just got i just got in the zone and i was just like crocheting away for hours on end without like interruption so i kind of got lost in my own head but it was real really fun i really enjoyed it and i was saying this entire way through to my sister i was like i'm i'm really happy with it because at no point during this was i like for god's sake like i really don't want to carry on like my love for crochet is still there i don't feel frustrated towards crochet um it's just that i'm impatient and i want to get it done quicker um and obviously like now this video is going to be a day or two late which is disappointing but you all reassured me that that was completely fine so i feel better about that um so thank you but yeah um i'll 
be weaving in the ends of this probably tonight and then making a couple Pinterest videos this week and I do want to wear it for one of them because you can bet your bottom dollar that I will be over wearing this like I will never be taking this off at this point and if I don't get like five compliments per day on this I'm going to cry so that was me making my dream eye sweater finally and I really hope you enjoyed I loved making it I loved this little little format of um like giving you updates here and then like going away and crocheting some more doing little time lapses blah 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 so please let me know if you want more of these crochet with me's i think the next biggest biggish project i want to do is a spider web jumper which i don't think will take me as long because it is just a spider web and then extending <laughs> so it's not like this with different stitches i don't think but i think that'll probably be the next one that i do either that or the cat ear beanie that I was talking about with the fish as the little danglers instead. So if you do want more of these crochet with me, please let me know down below. I feel very 70s, like that 70s show, like I feel like, um, oh my gosh, what is her name? The person who plays Alex in Orange is the New Black. Emma, um, Emma said that I look um, very Willow core and that made me very happy. Willow would most definitely wear this. So I feel very nice, very, very, <laughs> But yeah, that is it from me, my lovely dumplings, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>